Okay, hello everybody. This is Mike with BT Budget Tech Reviews, and today is the unboxing of the Google Nexus 5, guys. I bought the 32 gig of, gigabyte version of this. Cost comes out to about 440 after taxes and shipping. And let's get this thing going. There's the box, and I don't know whatever it says on the back. It just says that it has Bluetooth. So, um, but. Uh, Spec-wise, this phone is a little different than the last phone, and I left my box cutter over there, so give me one second, guys, because I screwed up. <laughs> but this phone, uh, compared to the Google Nexus 4, this phone it has LTE capabilities. Uh, it's got a bigger battery. It's got a 2300 milliamp battery, and from... What I'm told, it's got a quad-core 800 uh, Snapdragon 800 processor, uh, 2.3 gigahertz, two, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and let's get this going. As you can see here, this is it right here, the Google Nexus 5. I got it in all black. There's two color versions of it. I got the black version, so let's take a look here. Ah, hopefully I can get this short. Here's the phone itself. Beautiful, sexy phone out of the box. Uh, Feels a little better in, ha in the hand to me compared to my Nexus 4. And let me get my Nexus 4 out just to compare. Nexus 4 and Nexus 5 here on the left. And as you can see there, um, not huge size difference. This one has a 4.7 inch touchscreen while this one has like a 4.9. Uh, but this one is a little lighter and it just feels better in the hand. As you can see there, the camera uh, and flash are placed in very similar spots. So... Um, let's see, let's get this going. I guess I'm going to turn this phone on, and well, before that, I guess let me show you what else comes in the box. It's not going to, I mean, pretty much your typical stuff. I want to say your instruction manual and whatever else. Here's the, of course, your manual. Uh, your Nexus 5 junk, I guess it just tells you what everything does. Here's your SIM card um, pop-out thing, and I'll get that going after I turn the phone on. And let's take a look here. Um... There's your safety and warranty information, and really nothing. This phone just comes with a USB data cable and uh, the little uh, power power bar for charging. So, not a lot that comes out of the box, guys. So, if you guys are, you know, interested about add-ons like headphones and stuff like that, and, uh, this phone does not come with headphones or anything like that. So, it's just the phone. And unlocked, like I said, the the 16 gig is 349. And the 32 gig, which is the one I bought, is 3.99 plus tax. So let's turn this sucker on. Let's see, power button should be on the same area there. There we go. As you can see there, there's the beautiful Google logo that everyone loves to see. And I haven't had my Nexus 4 that long. I've had it for maybe like eight months, and I love it. But and I honestly really didn't need an upgrade because this phone still works really well. I haven't dropped it or cracked the screen like a lot of people have on the back, especially because the glass is, the back is made of glass. This new Nexus 5 isn't. It's more of a, a soft touch. It's a non-removable battery as well, so you can't take the battery out. And here you go. You can see it's still starting. I still have the screen protector on, so bear with me there while it starts up. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is pretty much it. It has a, the same 8 oh I wouldn't say the same 8 megapixel camera it's a it's an 8 megapixel camera on the back but it's a little different uh, it's got like more image stabilization going on there I guess and the HDR is supposed to be a lot a lot more clear clear uh, in a background picture so and from what I see they moved the front facing camera to the middle there I don't know if anyone can see that but it's right there in the middle so I'm going to end this here, guys. Uh, this is the unboxing for my Nexus 5. Uh, keep an eye out for the review videos. As always, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.